Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another stationery review video. Today I'm reviewing the set of 100 Ohuhu watermarkers that Ohuhu kindly sent me a while back. I really enjoy seeing artists use the Ohuhu alcohol markers in their creations, so I knew that I really wanted to try their watermarkers, and that's what I'll be doing today. I divided this video into sections. First I will unbox the markers and show you how they look like, then I will swatch all the colors and try them in different papers, and then I will make an illustration using them. This set of markers comes in this giant black pouch. It was really satisfying to open it for the first time because the markers come really well organized in these pen loops and organized by numbers. And you start opening it and it feels like there are even more and more markers. The markers have a white barrel and are dual tip. They have a brush tip on one side and a fine liner tip on the other. They don't have shade names but they have numbers, which for me it's a must have when I get new sets of markers so I can organize them better on my pen swatches notebook and I don't have to number them by hand. The brush tip is pretty wide and the fine liner is very fine. I don't think I have brush pens with a fine tip like this, which is really great. For comparison purposes, here is a difference between an Ohuhu marker, a Tombow Dual brush pen, and an Arteza 3 marker. These are the markers I use the most for coloring and calligraphy in my bullet journal and when I do art pages in my art journal, so in case you wanted to know, here is a difference between the brush tips. The fine tips are also pretty different, but the Ohuhu fine tip is quite similar to the Arteza 3 marker one. The Ohuhu markers feel to me as if they were the soft tip version of a Tombow Dual brush pen, so if you prefer softer markers, maybe these ones are the ones for you. In this pack, you also have tip replacements for when your tips fray or get damaged. You get three for the brush tips and two for the fine liners. This is great because if you break the tip of a marker, you just replace it and for most of the markers, you either don't use the marker anymore or you purchase the whole set again. It also comes with instructions in case you don't know how to replace the tips. I think that this little detail is really important, I don't see many sets with this option, so this is a very nice touch. Another thing that they come with is a color chart for when you want to see how the colors look like, and two different papers for you to swatch your markers on. This is also great, so you have a record of how they look like, which for me is very important. I will not swatch them here though, because I have my own pen swatches notebook that I made, which is where I like to keep all of my pens swatched on paper so I know how they look like. If you want to know more about my notebook swatches and all the process and basically seeing me swatching all of my pen collection, I will leave the video down below where I showed the entire process of making it. First I had to take all of the markers out of the pouch. This is one of the best things ever when it comes to markers. It's just so therapeutic to take all of them out and organize them again. I just love that. And to swatch them, I divided the pages into 100 sections for the 100 markers to swatch all of them and I numbered each rectangle with the numbers of the markers so I can swatch them on that little rectangle. So with that being said, now it's time to swatch. I'm using the brush tip to make a line on the rectangle to just keep a record of all the colors and how they look like next to each other. 
This was a bit of a pain to do, but it was very therapeutic, so I will leave you with the time lapse. In this set of 100 markers you have a lot of different colors, but I think that maybe we have too many pinks and too many blues. I don't use a lot of pinks in my creations and I find that most sets of markers come with a lot of different pink tones and blues, but not so much of red tones or some very dark or vintage tones. I like that this set has a lot of yellows and oranges as well as a lot of grey undertones and my favorite colors of the set that I don't think I own are the last seven of this set. I would take some of the colors out and replace them with not so used tones but I think that for a hundred set of markers it's pretty nice. Now that you know how they all look like, let's try them on different papers. First, I'm trying the Ohuhu markers on a Leuchten 1917 notebook. They are water-based, but I do think they are a bit heavy on the page, and if you apply too much pressure, they may cause some bleeding. What I also find is that it's a bit harder to do thin upstrokes when doing calligraphy due to the tip being softer than most brush pens. Maybe I'm not really used to it yet, but I find that soft brush pens for calligraphy are just not ideal for me. I'm someone who prefers to use hard tip pens. I'm also testing the Ohuhu markers on a notebook therapy notebook with 160 GSMs paper. This is the paper that I use in my bullet journal, so if you own these notebooks, this is how they perform. Just a tiny bit of bleed through on the other side. This is what I meant when I said that they were a bit heavier. It's also hard to control the amount of ink that you are applying on the page. I think that for ombre effects they work well, but they are not the best. You can clearly see some streakiness and not so much of a perfect ombre effect, but I think it's great considering their price and quality. They are good for art and bullet journaling, but they are not the top ones, so I would consider them good for beginners. I love them, I have been using them in my pen pal letters and in some pages in my art journal and they perform really well. I also decided to try them on a sketchbook. This one is from Arteza and I don't use this a lot, but I wanted to show you how they perform on a sketchbook. Keep in mind that they are water-based, so the blending and streakiness are not going to be as perfect as the alcohol markers if you use their alcohol markers. And if you like to draw and want a big set of markers to try sketching and start drawing on sketchbooks, I highly think that this set is going to do it for you. They are affordable and you can always upgrade to another set of markers or other brands if you see that these don't really work for you, but at least you started with good markers that were affordable. The blending is also better on the sketchbook than on the bullet journal, so I really like these to just doodle around and draw in the sketchbook. Now let's create something with them. I'm using my new art journal from Notebook Therapy that is now where I create all my drawings and illustrations and because I asked you on my Instagram what you wanted to know about these markers, some of you asked about how they perform as watercolors, like mixing the colors with water and use them as watercolors. So for the illustration, I will swatch the colors on transparency film, like if it was a blending palette, and I will add water to my brush and paint everything with the colors of the markers, if that makes sense. 
I always like to ask you if you have any questions or doubts about the product that I will be reviewing so I can cover everything for you, but if I didn't cover something, please leave it in the comments that I will answer as usual. You wanted to know how they perform as watercolors and in my poor experience with watercolors I think they work really well. I mean the colors are still vibrant and pigmented so I had a lot of fun making this illustration because they were so good to work with. I do think that they perform as well as tumble dual brush pens when it comes to use them with water because they are water based but yeah, I really like them and if this is something that you do on a regular basis and you're looking for good markers to do that, these are the ones. I took inspiration from Pinterest to create this illustration and I decided to draw plants once again. I saw some interesting art pieces with house plants on shelves and I never tried to do anything like this so I just decided to try it. This notebook is 160 GSM so there was no bleeding but if you use this notebook with thinner pages they might bleed a little bit but I think that that is completely normal and that would happen with other markers as well. for a set of 100 markers. For the price that they cost, I think it's great how they perform and their quality. I don't think they are bad in any way and I think that if you don't want to get Crayola Super Tips or invest right away in Tobo Dual Brush Pens and want to try calligraphy for the first time or just draw for fun, these are perfect. Not only because of the price, because they are super affordable for a pack of 100 markers, but because they do the job and like I mentioned earlier, if you want to upgrade your markers after using this, you can, but at least you tried these and you tried everything as a beginner with them, which is what matters in my opinion. If I was to start bullet journaling for the first time again, I think these markers would be on my shopping list. I didn't know about these when I started bullet journaling or calligraphy, but I would probably purchase them because they are really great. In the description you can find the links to purchase them and let me know in the comments what you thought about them and if you have any questions or doubts about them that I will answer. I definitely recommend them considering everything I mentioned throughout the video. Thank you so much for watching this review and thank you Wahoo for sending me this great set of markers. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!